since we already are experts how to make our pages dynamic, we also can do the same thing with the recipes because at the moment we're just looking at this dummy data and we know already how we can do that. We first we're going to head over to our uh, API. We'll see how this is going to be done since we're going to be looking for the search. Of course, that would be the difference. And in my case, let's just copy and paste it again. And within the browser, I'm going to replace this with API key. Technically, we wouldn't have to do that, but why don't we do it together the long way? I mean, you don't have to do this, but just to show you what kind of information again, we're going to be getting. And by the way, again, in the documentation, they say that the search query is optional, meaning if you're just going to omit that, then you're going to get the 30 most popular recipes. And this is exactly what we were looking for. So what we are going to do is we're just going to say, okay, there's going to be the key. But for now, we're just going to leave the query empty. Later on, when we're going to be setting up everything within our search, and we have the recipes in search, that is where we're going to be using the query. But at the moment, we just want the popular recipes. And yeah, these are going to be our recipes. So I already know that this is going to work. And I'm going to copy and paste at the moment the URL that I have. We're going to head over back not to the ENV development. We don't need that anymore, as well as git ignore. The single recipe is also done. Then the recipe is not going to be needed. And last, we have our recipes. And this is where we're going to be doing all our work uh, up until the end of the project. And first and foremost, I would need to set up in a state the URL that we're going to be using. Because since in this case, we do have the search thing, and we would want to make our Ajax request as we're typing something here in the input, the setup is going to be a little bit different. So we're not just going to use the actual lifecycle method. We're also going to set up our request in a separate function. And for that, we're going to have something in the state. The key is going to be URL. And for now, I'm just going to use, again, the actual template literals. I'm going to copy and paste my full URL. We will going to save it. And now let's get rid of our API key and replace it already with the environment variable that we already have. So remember the variable was react, uh, react app, and then we were saying API key. Obviously, if you named yours differently, then you would need to access it also by the name. And obviously, I forgot to process env. This should work. We have process env. Let's save that and let's see how this is going to work. Process is not going to be defined because we need two s's. And now finally, everything is working. So this is going to be set up in the URL. And like I said, in this case, I would want to set up the method that's going to be separate from the lifecycle method. So there will be eventually the lifecycle method that we used already. Component did mount, but at the moment, we just can leave it empty. Because what we're going to do is we're going to call the function that I'm going to be creating right now. And the function name is going to be get recipes. And again, this is going to be async. And we're going to use a sync await. So let's write get recipes. But as you notice something right now, as you're looking at this function, you see that this is not going to be an arrow function. And remember, all the way back, back, back in the beginning, I told you that if we don't have the arrow function, we need to do something. Because this, the actual context, is not going to be bind to the actual class. Remember, we needed to bind do this. Otherwise, it worked with an arrow function, but the regular function was actually creating its own context. And that's the reason why I set up the constructor here. And technically, we could have placed the state in the constructor. It would have worked fine. It does work fine as well right now. So just to show you again, there's multiple ways how we can do that. And what I'm going to do right now is going to be this dot get recipes. That is going to be my method. And then we need to use this dot get recipes. And in this case, we're saying bind, bind, because we're going to be binding to this. Otherwise, this is not going to work. And at the moment, I have successfully created a sync get recipes method. And now I'm going to be able to start using the await. Now, a bunch of things are going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to say try, then we're going to be looking for the catch. We're going to also say, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to be catching this. Uh, but uh, we're going to have some error. And if you want to console log there, OK, 
can just do console log, not blob or lob, but let's do error. Now that is going to be uh, console log default. We're going to have some error, and we already know that we can get the data uh, or any kind of variable. And for that, we're going to use a wait again. We will going to be waiting for this again. We're going to use the fetch API, and in this case, we're not going to be passing the URL from the function. We were going to be passing the variable from the state since at the moment the variable is sitting in a state. All right, so let's say this dots state URL that is where we're going to be looking, and now we also need to run with the JSON. Remember, we needed to use that method, otherwise, it's not going to work. So let's say const JSON data, and let's write again await, and we're going to say data. JSON and first of all, let's have something like this. And by the way, we also can right away console log it. Let's see how this is going to happen. So JSON data is going to be console log. However, we obviously need to run this method. And the way we run the method within the component did mount this got get recipes. Now we're successfully running this function. And let's see what's going to happen. Well, since I'm already on this page, but I still would want to see on the bigger browser window, why don't we do local uh, 3000 and we'll see within the recipes what kind of response we're getting back. And within the console, we should have the object. And what do you see here? Well, I see the object, the recipes, and that should be exactly the same like we had in our dummy data. The difference obviously would be here we have 30 and then within the dummy data, we had three. And that's the only thing that is different. And let's say that right now we would want to set up again this dot set state since we do have the data. I'm going to say this dot set state. And if in the beginning we got the dummy data, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to say, okay, within the state, I would want to change that. And the way I would want to change that is by saying this dot set state. And then we have recipes, recipes, and we have JSON data recipes and that is important please make sure that you don't pass the json data and then you're not going to be having your recipes once we save it we should have finally our 30 recipes not only our three dumb ones again we can refresh and let's see what's going to happen and yeah sure enough we do have our 30 most popular recipes we can click on any of the links if we want Let's say if I'm going to go to the recipe URL, this is going to open up the recipe URL. I will going to go back to my application. If I want, let's say details for the magic sauce, I'm going to get the details for magic sauce. We can click on both of these links just to show you that this is going to be working. Now this will going to be my link. I can also click on recipe URL. This will going to open up the recipe URL. I can go back to recipe list and everything is working really well. Everything worked out. We have our data dynamically. And in the next video, we can start working with the search queries where we can pass some specific query because at the moment, obviously, I can write chicken all day long and nothing is going to happen.